The Sacred Seven, Unlocking the Significance of Number Seven in Islam Throughout Islamic scripture, tradition, and practice, the number seven holds a position of prominence and spiritual significance. Understanding the deeper meaning embedded within the number seven not only enriches our understanding of Islamic theology, but also allows us to appreciate the intricate beauty and internal consistency of the faith. Firstly, the seven heavens hold a central place in Islamic cosmology. The Quran describes the creation of the universe with emphasis on the layered nature of the heavens. It is he who created for you all that is on the earth. Then he directed his attention to heaven and arranged it into seven heavens, and he is knowing of all things. Quran 229. This concept of celestial stratification emphasizes the boundless power of Allah and the vastness of his creation. It invites contemplation on the hierarchical nature of existence and the unseen realms beyond our physical world. The most sacred ritual of Islam, the Hajj pilgrimage, also prominently features the number seven. Pilgrims perform seven circumambulations, tawaf, round the Kaaba. The ancient cubicle structure in Mecca believed to have been originally built by Prophet Abraham. They also walk seven times between the hills of Safa and Marwa, emulating the desperate search for water by Ha'ar, wife of Abraham and mother of Ishmael. These acts symbolize complete submission to God's will. The repeated number seven emphasizes the enduring nature of God's covenant with the faithful and underscores the importance of perseverance in the face of hardship. The seven heavens and the rituals of the Hajj are just two significant examples of the sacred seven in Islam. We see this number reappear in other aspects of Islamic life and belief. The seven verses of Surah Al-Fatiha, the opening chapter of the Quran, Al-Fatiha, is the cornerstone of Islamic prayer, recited multiple times daily. This fundamental chapter consists of precisely seven verses. The seven reciters, in Islamic history, Seven prominent scholars known for their exceptional mastery of Quranic recitation emerged as the Seven Reciters. Their distinct styles of recitation formed the basis for standardized Quranic recitation practice globally today. The Seven Gates of Hell, in contrast to the hopeful symbolism of the Seven Heavens. Islamic teachings also mention Seven Gates leading to Jahannam, Hell. This serves as a stark reminder of God's justice and the consequences of deviating from His path. Islamic scholars have delved into potential interpretations beyond these surface-level observations. Some link it to the creative process itself, pointing to the concept of seven days of creation in Judeo-Christian Islamic traditions. Others attribute its significance to the fundamental structures of the Arabic language and the inherent numerical values assigned to letters. While the exact origin and purpose of the recurrence of the number seven may hold an element of the intangible, it integrably serves a crucial purpose within the Islamic worldview. It offers a sense of rhythm, pattern, and a divine fingerprint left upon the workings of the universe and the structure of worship. Whether it denotes literal components or acts as a symbolic representation of wholeness, perfection, or the cycle of creation is a fascinating area of theological exploration. By recognizing the prevalence of the number seven in Islamic teachings and rituals, we gain a deeper appreciation for the faith's rich symbolism and intricate structure. This sacred number acts as a thread weaving together disparate aspects of Islamic belief, practice, and cosmology, reminding the believer of the fundamental unity and interconnectedness that lie at the heart of the universe. If you enjoyed this exploration, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more insights into Islamic spirituality and traditions.